Jumbo, fellow adventurers, happy Friday. It's Mike Dooley here in Orlando, Florida. Boy, oh boy, the floodgates were open yesterday. I did an, an independent post, as many of you noticed, asking for more questions. I got so many great questions. And a lot of them, I, I could feel the pain of the questioner. I, I truly wish I could sit down and answer one question at a time for every one of you. But there was a recurring theme. Uh, it was as stark and clear as could be. And the theme was happiness and its absence in so many people's lives to the degree that it should be there. Okay, this is not saying everybody's unhappy, but um, boy, oh boy, oh boy, what became really evident, and I've got an answer for almost all of you. Uh, one answer for almost all of you. The key to happiness now. Um, let it be this. Stop linking your happiness to circumstances, events, relationship status, what's happening in your life right now. Stop creating that link because it's an addiction. And that addiction means that you're never going to have enough. There's always going to be one more bell or whistle or friend or partner or job or title or thing that's just going to be out of reach. And what is done so often, I've done it so much myself throughout my entire life, is I don't give myself permission to be happy until I, I, I ring the bell and I bring home the bacon uh, or the carrots as a vegetarian or I, uh, I, I achieve something. But, but it is a short-lived euphoria that's swiftly, swiftly replaced by my desire for the next fix. And you are perpetually chasing this, this perceived imperfection in self. And you're completely blind to seeing what has been there all along. It brings to mind a note from the universe that said, sure, there may be a lot of real estate between where you are today and the life of your wildest dreams. But haven't you noticed the road from here to there runs straight through paradise? But yet we don't see it. How many days do you think you have left? Total, how many days do you think? Whatever your answer is, it's gonna go by like that. You know, Couple hundred, couple thousand, 20,000. And then no more cups of coffee, no more ice cream, no more long walks, contemplative thoughts, uh, all night watching the movies, uh, Netflix, uh, uh, no more planting flowers, no more baking pies, no more, uh, no more of so many splendors. They are innumerable. You live your life in paradise. There's perfection and beauty and intelligence and meaning everywhere around you. Absolutely seek to change the circumstances that, that you want to change. Absolutely strive to get that relationship started or absolutely strive to become free. But, but don't put your happiness off for either. Do you know how many people asked about relationships? Oh, do you, to those people who wish they were in a relationship, do you have any idea of how many people in a relationship wish they were outside of a relationship or wish that they could do a do-over or wish that they were somehow free? And then a loop begins and it starts over and over. Look, I remember being single almost my entire first 50 years of life on earth. And my mom would say, Mike, don't worry about it. Enjoy it because the day will come when you're connected and you're in love and, and maybe you'll have kids and maybe you won't and you're going to wish for these single days. And she was so right. It's like, enjoy what you have. What you have is what so many other people are putting all of their happiness for. Yet you're so obsessed with changing things and not giving yourself permission to enjoy what you've already earned and who you already are that you don't realize it. And the days are pouring through your fingers like like water or sand. You are 
awesome. You're amazing. There are people who would give their front teeth, literally, for the life you now have. Whether you're single, whether you're alone, whether you're in a relationship, and the things you want, they're coming because your thoughts become things. Just because you don't have something today doesn't mean you're not going to have it. Just because you've been single the first 85 years of your life doesn't mean year 86 isn't going to be Romeo and Juliet's theme year. Don't draw those conclusions. Be happy today. It's just a choice away. And make that choice irregardless of circumstances. Yes, circumstances can always be changed. And if you will, they can always be improved. But no matter how great they are, they can still be improved. And then there's still room for improvement. Do you see, if you put your happiness off for finally having this or finally having that, it becomes this addiction and this, this wheel that's never ending and then you die. Now, of course, we're all eternal gladiators of love and joy. And when you get to that place and the door closes, another one opens and you're going to look back at your beautiful, amazing life with your keen perceptions and your pulsing heart and the sensitivity that drove you crazy, but that you also loved because you are a passionate person deeply in love with life. You're going to be like, oh my God, I had it all. I had everything. It was a dream existence. I want to go back. I'm going to go back and this time I'm going to remember to smell the coffee and the roses. And this time I'm going to go back and enjoy the simple things. And this time I'm going to go back and give myself to be permission without having to justify myself, without having to prove myself. You have it made. You're watching a computer video right now. You've got the internet at your fingertips. You've got people, including me, who love and adore you. You've got angels over your shoulder. You live in a paradise that is technically utterly impossible impossible so just enjoy it enjoy enjoy doing nothing enjoy watching the rain enjoy sleeping all day and staying up all night and shaking your inner witness saying i'm here now man i'm here baby and we're going to enjoy this ride because it's another day in paradise so I'm going to get to many of the questions that were asked yesterday. I am grateful for all of them. Thanks for the great questions. Thank you so much uh, when you're watching these or watching the recording for the feedback, the engagement, the waving, the stars, the posts. Thank you so much for sharing it with a friend because it gets the algorithms out there. Uh, this has been a hot week, a really fun week. I, I, I read your comments and they all touch me and they keep me doing this. So happy Friday. Be happy now. It's a choice and you can make that choice now in spite of circumstances. Detach, detach, which doesn't mean don't go out and deliberately create and change your life. Do that, but be happy in the process because your thoughts become things. You have the gift of the gods. All right, Jennifer on Facebook and Winnie and Michelle and Mark Diana, oh my gosh, I'm honored. Carol Pavetta, what an exotic name. And on Instagram, Clear Divinity, Julie, glad you're here. Fem Botanica, I bet you have a green thumb. And Cyan and Tierra and Mike Service. Okay, everybody, love and see you Monday. Have the best weekend of your life so far. Deliriously happy.